Welcome to week six of our guitar course. This is video one, and we're ready to go on with a couple new things today with the G pentatonic scale. Last week, we had spent uh, some time learning how to play the G pentatonic scale. Remember, that's a five note scale. The notes are G, A, B, D, E, and then we repeat the G up high, which actually makes it six notes, but since it's a repeat, we don't count it in the five. Uh, we're going to learn one more note on that scale, and it's going to be another repeat this week. Uh, but it's important to realize that the G pentatonic scale, there is a pattern on our fretboard that we want to be able to visualize. We want to be able to see it in our minds. Uh, and knowing where it is will help you be able to play it and to play it well. And so we're going to play a couple more songs this week that use just the notes of the G pentatonic scale. Let's go back and let's see if we can just go up the scale and then back down the scale. Uh, let's do it in time. Remember, we're going to use our thumbs for our pick here. And we're going to start on the G string, open G. Get a good thumb position, good hand position, palm is facing up, elbows tucked in. Your wrist is straight, and your fingers are ready to give nice curves on our second and third finger. Okay, so let's start on that open G string. Here we go, ready? Ready, go. G and A and B and D and E and G and back down and E and D B A G. Okay, think we could do it four times in a row on each of the notes? Let's try it. So we'll do G four times, A four times, B four times, D. E and G. Now, one more thing. If you can do it, say the name of the note with me as you play it. Here we go. Check your wrist position, check your thumb, check your fingers. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. And B, two, three, four. And D, two, three, four. And E, two, three. Up to G now. One, two, three, back down to E, two, three, four, and D, two, three, four, and B, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. Good. That's an important thing to be able to do, uh, to play a scale like that in time, even though we're repeating notes, we're switching and we're not having any break between them. Also, one important thing is you want to be able to see it in your mind so that you're not craning your neck over the guitar like that. We want to even see it from this angle too and have a good idea of where we're at. It takes practice, it takes time, so be patient with yourself if you're having a hard time with that. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, There's a reason why there are few professional musicians in this world who can really, really play. Uh, it takes years and years of practice. But the good thing is that in a matter of weeks, you can actually enjoy playing guitar. And that's why we, we start learning when we're young. And even when, if we're older, we can start learning then and have fun playing. And that's really what matters is, are you having fun playing? The, the goal of learning guitar is not to become a professional musician. It's to be able to enjoy an instrument. And I hope you really are. Now. Let's learn one more note on the scale. So I want you to think a little bit about our pattern here. I'm going to go backwards in our pattern. So we, we got three open, three open, two open, and then we're going to add one more note. This is a really easy one. It's just D, just the D string, nice and open. So now we're actually going to have four different open strings. We're going to have D, G, B, and E, as well as the, the strings that on the second fret two and then the D, and then the high G. Okay? Now, if we could do that in order, we start on the D string, and it goes D, G, A, B, D, E, G, just like that. Can you try that? Let's start, let's go D, G, A. Okay? Try that with me. Ready, go. D, G, a. Okay? Let's try it where we just try the open strings. D, G, B, E. Can we do them as quarter notes? 
one one count beat one count notes ready go d g b e okay all right that's that's another way to kind of go through them just to see where they are on the neck uh, again that's a very very important part to to learning how to play guitar do you think we could try the scale up and down from the d let's give it a try we'll go slow nice half notes on this one so start open D, get your thumb ready. One, two, three, go. D and G and A and B and D and E and G and E and D and B and A and G and D. Okay? Good. Now, why are we learning a new note? Well, because we're going to use it in our song today. We're going to learn a, the first song on the second page of week six, and it's called Al Citron, which is a Mexican folk song. Uh, I could tell you the words in Spanish, but I looked them up, and they actually really don't mean anything. It, it, and people say it's, a, it's called a nonsense song. It's a song that kids play, and th there's actually a game that goes along with it. It looks pretty fun. Uh, but we're going to play the melody for it because it uses the G pentatonic scale. So, uh, two things as you're, as you're reading this one. First of all, we can look at the tab. And so if you look at the very first two notes, they're the same note, D, and it's that open string. And we can play that pretty easily. So we have to learn that note on the staff now. I uh, don't think we've had that one before. If you look at this one, it's actually sitting right below the staff. Um, just kind of like how the G is uh, up on top of the staff, this is one right below the staff. And that's about as far as we go right now, because remember the, the notes there, they go, uh, they go line, space, line, space, line, space, or you can go up line, space, line, space, line, space, and they alternate. And so this one is technically on a space. And so let me play the song for you one time. I'll play it with a track. Listen first, and then I'll try to teach it to you. So here we go. And that's it. So I kind of gave it a, a south of the border flair to it with them, some accordion and, and stuff like that. And so this is, I think, going to be a pretty easy song because we use a lot of the open strings. What this song, and actually the next song as well, is going to help us do is practice switching our right hand between picking the different strings. This is a, this is a skill that we haven't worked a whole lot on, is switching strings here with our right hand. It's an important skill that we have to, to learn. And uh, because think about it, you, you're, well, you want to look at the music, you want to look at your left hand, you want to look at your right hand. You can't do it all at the same time. We have to do it by feel. We have to be able to feel it up here. We have to be able to feel it down here so that we can actually see what's going on in the music. Um, and you can look here every once in a while. You can look at your right hand every once in a while. But typically, you want to be looking at the music. So let's learn this one together. Start here, thumb on the D string, right hand ready, good position, and I want you to just go D, D, G, okay? Do that with me, ready, go, D, D, G, okay? How, did, you get the, get, did you get the string switch? Try it again, one, two, go, D, D, G, okay? So that's a nice easy one, I think, because it's the natural motion that our, our, our right hand wants to do. It's moving down the string. So we, haven't, we have to come back eventually, but we'll get to that spot. Now the next note after the, that is A, so we have to put our A on, and then up to B. We're walking up the scale, aren't we? D, 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 G, A, B. Okay, let's try that one more time. One, two, go. D, D, G, A, B. Okay, one more time. Ready, go. D, D, G, A, B. Okay, so that was all walking up the scale. Then we get to walk down the scale. So we're on the B, we go back to A, 
and then G G D D G G D D. Go back and forth between that. So start on the B, and let's just walk it note by note right now, because we're going to go on the in a more unnatural motion where we have to pick up and go to the next string below it. All right. So starting that open B, you can look right now, and here we go. So we one note at a time on the B. Ready? Go. B down to the A. A and then the G and then the D D G G D D okay hopefully that's kind of the easy part because it all has to do with our right hand going back and forth between those two strings don't have to do anything with our left hand and thankfully we'll we, we get a little bit of a break here let's try that whole first line together uh, one more thing about this one that I need, need to talk about. We've learned quarter notes, one beat notes. We've learned half notes, two beat notes, and we've learned whole notes that are four beat notes. But this one, we actually get a half note, normally a two beat note. But you see the little dot to the side of it? That is called a dotted half note. And what that dot does is whatever note it is on, it's going to add half the value of that note. So in this case, you're going to have your, your half note, which is two beats. And then half of half is one. So we add another beat, it adds up to three beats. And so now we're going to hold it for three counts. So it would be like uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that was a little fast. I was just demonstrating because we have that extra long three beat note. Let's try it together. Let's go slow. Get ready. One, two, go. D, D, G, two, three. A, B, two, three. A, G, G, D, D, G, G, D, D. Good. I made a little mistake on that one. Let's try that one more time. Okay, let's start that. Let's start that. Let's go. Okay, let's go slow. Start on your D string. One, two, three, go. D, D, G, two, three. A, B, two, three. A, G, G, D, D, G, G, D, D. Okay, now when we're learning a song, sometimes it's good to learn it uh, in sections. And so what I want you to do, pause the video, see if you can play the first line as best as you can three more times all right now okay great now let's go on to the second line the second line has a lot of open notes in fact there's only two notes where we have to play the a second fret uh, but we're going to use three strings the g the b string and the d string so the first note is g and hopefully you see that both with the notation as well as on the tab and so this one we start on the on the g we go and it plays like this. It goes G, D, D, G, two, three, A, B, two, three, A, G, G, D, D, G, D, G, B, E. So it's very similar to the first line. In fact, it starts uh, almost identical to it, and then it changes a little bit at the end. Instead of doing G, G, D, D again, it goes G, D, B, or sorry, G, D, G, B, G. So, and that's the other one. So, let's give the second line a, a, a try, note by note. So, get ready for your G. You can look right now and get your left hand ready because we got to get our two onto the A uh, on the G string there. Okay, but not yet. So, we're starting on the G, and we have the D. Follow the tab if you need it for right now, or follow the notation if you can. One, two, three, go. G, two, D, D, G, keep going. A, B, A, G, all open strings. D, G, A, D, D, mm -hmm. Okay, now, again, I want you to practice it. So get your hands ready, get your eyes in the music, Follow along in the music. Use the tab to help you. Go for it. All right, so now the last thing we have to do is try playing it along with the track. 
Let's start off slow. I have two versions of the track, a slow version as well as a fast version. Let's of course do the slow one first so that we can, we can really focus in on practicing it well. So get your left hand ready, straight wrist, good thumb position, good fingers ready to go. Right hand, thumb on the D string, you can look now. And then of course your eyes, you want those in the music. Feel around on the guitar for, for where you need to be. See if you can move between each of those strings without having to look. If you need a little look, that's fine, but make sure your eyes go back to the music. Ready? Here we go. Two, ready, go. Second line. So if you want to, go ahead and rewind a little bit and do that again. Uh, that's, that's the slow version. It's the, not too fast of a song ultimately, but we, we, that's about as slow as we, we maybe can take that one. But really, all you, the only note you have to push is that A on the, fr on the fretboard and then the rest are just open strings. And so, okay, give that a try again if you need to. Otherwise, let's go on to do the fast version. All right, so again, wrist in, in the right spot. Good thumb position, ready for your curved fingers. Get that second finger ready for the, the A. Thumb on the D string. Let's try it fast, here we go. Cool. All right, as you're practicing this, one thing you might want to try to doing, actually I, I have a tendency of doing this with my right hand, is I actually keep my finger either here or on the, the E string in this case, because we're not using the E string at all. I, I'd probably be best to keep it here, right below your sound hole. Um, this is called the rosette. Usually there's some, some kind of design there. Um, differs by a guitar, but uh, just keeping your thumb there. It keeps you now, and then uh, you're also able to find those strings a little bit easier just by moving your thumb. So, give these songs a try again, and I will see you back for video two. Bye-bye.